Hey everyone, so since I'm late doing this, um, we're going to do two barrels, so let's get going. I push on there to get the lid off. I was going to do this outside, but again, it's not so nice out there. It's kind of hot today. And I don't know which one this is because I forgot. But we'll find out with a little rinsing. Oh, yeah. So, first one. Looking good. That's the blue lace. And then I'm going to put it in a bucket and go through them. And again, I'll have to make sure they're all clean. Let's see. I'll try to do this without putting too much water in the bucket. I prefer to do this outside. Yeah. There's that ruby. It's coming out pretty nice. Really nice and smooth. It's so far what I'm seeing it can go in the next stage. Let me put a little water in this so I can rinse off. Because I see there's some grit still hanging on. And I'm going to turn on the other light, see if I can get more light for you guys. Yeah, it's looking pretty nice. Liking this. I got this at the rock shed. Let me get some more light in here. Try. Hold on. I just have a dark apartment. No surprise there, it's facing the north. Oh, that one's turning out pretty cool. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, like I said before, I should have probably cut those off, but anyway, it's just going to stay there now. But I'm sure you guys can tell how smooth it's getting now. Those edges, are they were really rugged, jagged before. Not so much anymore. Wow, that one's got some beautiful, beautiful bands in it. Really liking that. I think I figured out what some of these are. Not quite sure, but I think I remember ordering some kind of African agate. I'm thinking that's what this is. Looking pretty good. It looks shiny, but if I dried this off, here, let me dry one. You'll see that it still needs more polishing. I'll show you what I mean. That's dry. Let's see if you can see it. Yeah, it has a little bit, but it's still wet. But the next step will really polish it. Put a more shine on it. Make it shiny, which we want. Oh, there's some grit on there. Let me get that off. I just got to get the grit off. That one turned out pretty nice. Another one, I'm not quite sure what it is. Uh, from now on, I'm going to write stuff down in a notebook because I don't like forgetting what I got in here but yeah I'm liking that another agate that one's kind of cool 
I turned my air conditioner off so you guys didn't have to listen to it. Those are coming out good. I'm very pleased with what I'm seeing so far in this batch. I'll try to set those down a little nicer. Here is that garnet. Not the prettiest thing, but if you like garnet, it's kind of cool. Another one from the rock shed. So. Yeah, there's just a, here's some more of that blue lace agate. And I think everybody really likes this blue lace agate. So I'm going to find some more and tumble it. And I will give it to you guys. Yeah, it's kind of neat. Neat rock. I like it too. More ruby. That one's really nice. I like the matrix in there. It's probably quartz. I'm not sure. But I love the color. These are really tumbling nice. This rock I'm not fond of. It looks neat, but... And that is that leopard jasper. Jasper. It looks neat, but for some reason I can't tumble it very well. And this has been in before. <laughs> I got a couple of those pieces. Here's another one of them. Then I still have more to tumble. I don't know. Somebody has a good idea how to tumble this better than I do. Please let me know. It's kind of neat, but it just doesn't tumble good for me. Here is a piece of rock that I picked up at Lake Superior. Not sure what it is. I just thought, oh, I'm going to polish it. So that's what I'm doing. And I don't know what it's going to turn out to be like. guess we'll find out. Here is a piece of the Dalmatian Jasper. This side's got a lot more black dots. I'm not going to go through, I mean, here's some more of that agate from Africa. And it doesn't even look like an agate at this point. The same with this agate. I don't know. It's not turning out like at all what I want. I don't like those big dark pits in there. Yeah, here's a piece of I threw in. It was really rough. It's still not the best. There might be a couple bands in there. Not sure. But yeah, not, not really a very rough. Um, oh, the cactus barrel moss rose. We'll see how that turns out. It's about as mossy as it's going to get. It'll polish up a little more. That's about it. I was kind of disappointed in this material when I bought it. But that happens. This, yeah, it has jasper in it, but I have no idea what the other rock matrix it's on. I don't know. It's funny how you start with something and how they end up when you're done tumbling. Another one. Yeah, I really... I could have tumbled that or not and probably shouldn't have because it's nothing special to me. I think it was some of that stuff that was thrown in with the barrel cactus material. Again, oh, I know what this one was after seeing this side. Yeah, it has all those little tube agates in this side. 
We'll see how that turns out. It needs to be clean. All right, another piece of that rubyite material. And oh, here's a Lake Superior agate. It's got a lot of pits in it. But come on, focus. There is some banding in there. Come on, there we go. So, it's worth keeping. It's got bands. Some more of that African stuff. I'm going to pause this and we're going to dump the end of the barrel out. And you guys can see what else I'm tumbling. I'm trying to think if there's anything else in here. See how small some of these get? Some of these were just filler too. Meaning that. I try to mix different size rocks in with it so they tumble well. And that was a rock I think I got picked up on Lake Superior. Nothing special about it. But. And. Yeah, this one, I'm not sure. I thought that was an agate, but. I have to clean that up and look at it. It looks like agate material from, but it's, I don't see any bands anymore. Not sure. Same with this one, maybe a faint banding down there on the bottom. Yeah, definitely has a chip there from tumbling. And that happens when you're tumbling rocks, they hit each other. That's why I put ceramics in there. Another one that was supposed to, who knows, sometimes you start these and they have bands like, oh, there's a little banding on there. Yeah, Lake Superior. And it definitely um, wears rocks down. All right, I'm going to pause this a minute and get out the other barrel. Second barrel that I started, look, notice how thick the slurry is. grit and just wearing down rock part of the rock it makes it heavier thick I should say both I mean when you first start it, it's like just water and the grit and then it wears down This is, I kind of forgot, um, <laughs> being sick, I had a little brain fog, and I started this barrel over a week ago, so, <laughs> excuse me if I kind of forgot where I was at, I'm just glad I'm feeling better, I'm not all the way better, but definitely on the mend. I think you guys are going to like this batch. I see lots of agate. Let's get this rinsed off a little more. Yeah, we're about to the top of that bucket for the grit. All right. And I can't. Let's see. Well, I guess I could stick this in with the other ones because it looks like they're about in the same place for... Um, going on for the next stage. Focus. There we go. Yeah, that one's nice. Look at all those nice bands. Pretty. So I am going to stick this in the other barrel, or the other bucket, and then I'll go through them and clean them. Ooh, I like that one. Yeah. That's pretty. Nice bands on that one. Nice. Here's one of those weird 
rocks from, I'm sure it's Africa. Yeah, and I think I bought that stuff material maybe at Kingsley North. Another place to buy tumbling material. Come on, Agate, show up a little better. There we go. Some nice pans in there. Yeah, liking that one. These, and here's another one. <laughs> I will think about where I got these agates. They're not like superior agates, I know that. But I will look it up where I bought this material. I like different agates. Different places, it's always neat to see them. That's a no-no. <laughs> Rinsing it off and... Yeah, I don't know about that one. It's different. Sometimes different is good. Another agate. I gotta be better about where I, I've got so much material to polish. That's why I keep telling you guys, uh, I gladly give away some rocks and just give them to you because there's no way I can keep all these. And that's just a plain old basalt, basalt rock. I think it came from Lake Superior. I'm sure it did. I don't know, for a while there, my mom was picking up rocks, like, left and right. We definitely had a fun time on that trip. Let's see if we can get some of that in there. Slight banding on there. Nothing major. Kind of a crystal pocket. Yeah, maybe a dendrite in there. Another agate. Not sure how long this barrel tumbled, to be truthful with you. I just kind of lost track of time. Nothing special there. I don't see anything, at least. Yeah. A lot of this stuff I have, I don't know. I know it's from Africa. Somebody probably knows more about it than me. And I will look it up because I got at least track of some of the stuff I've ordered. Some of it I've ordered and bought and some of it is just stuff I've picked up. A nice little agate on the end of that one. Kind of different. That one might be interesting to see what's inside of it. I don't know. Who oh, another one of these. I don't know how I got so much of that. So I'm thinking about what I'm going to do next uh, for tumbling. And I'm going to look through my material. I did get some stuff today and I'll show you what that is in a minute that is definitely the cactus barrel I get like I said I'm not overly pleased with that material it looks so nice on uh, video and on their Facebook page but I didn't get very nice material for some reason. Definitely a Lake Superior agate. Come on. Yeah, just a little bit. That one's a different rock. I don't know if I could... Should have had the flashlight out. So that clear up there is transparent. And there's like little dentrites in it. 
kind of curious how that'll finish up. Yeah, that was a Lake Superior Agate, but you know what? I don't see any more bands on it, so just that crystal part. Crystally. Yeah, anything else? Here's another piece of this stuff I got from Lake Superior that I have no idea what it is. No idea. If anybody knows, let me know. It's different. I can't explain that green in there. The camera doesn't show it up. I mean, it's like it's really, maybe a little bit, you can see it really shiny in there. It's different. The, definitely the next batch I do, I am going to get the saw out and cut off any spots I don't think are going to tumble well. Or chills them off. That's part of tumbling. You just never know. I am going to show you my other material in a minute. Alright guys, this is what I got today. That is a Kona Dolomite from the upper... I think it's from the upper Michigan Penland so I'm... Yeah, I'm thinking that's what it is. So I want to tumble that. I have a big piece of it, and then I have this. This was free, and he just gave that to me free. So it's a zoellite with um, I think it's ruby in there. Anyway, I hate to make this too long. This is why you don't. Put it down the drain. You don't want that down your drains. No, that'll plug them up. So, my next step will be I'm going to go through and clean all those, and then I will put them in probably the 500 next. And it's basically the same way I did all the rest of them, so we'll just go from there. And this is long enough. I've got some barrels to clean now and some rocks and I'm not gonna make you guys go through that so hopefully next time I can do this outside yeah I get that all cleaned up and the white is ceramic which is supposed to cushion the rocks so thank you guys for watching and yes I'm feeling better and I'm hoping to go up fishing soon Hey, I'm just trying to get my strength back a little bit. I'm a little bit weak right now. So, I got plans to do a couple more outdoor things before the summer's done, or the fall, because I'll be doing things in fall too. Thank you guys for watching, and you all have a great day or night. Bye.